In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe After Effects to track your face inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. Now, there are many reasons why you would want to track somebody's face inside of Adobe After Effects. Yes, you can use it to isolate somebody's face and use this for a fun effect, but you can also use this to add objects or animations onto somebody's face. You could do some face distortion effects. There's a whole world of possibilities with this technique. So I'm gonna show you the bare bones in this tutorial, and then it's up to you to get creative and use this technique for some really fun and interesting ideas. So let's get into it. In order to do this effect, we first just want to go to the ellipse mask, which is up here. By default, it might be the rectangle tool, so just hold this down, get to the ellipse tool, and then from there, we're just going to cut out the face. Now this is where you can see I've gone wrong. I've actually just created a circle and that is because the video was not selected. So if this is what you've got at this point, just delete that shape layer, select the video footage and then try again. And you'll notice you'll create a mask. So you just want to move this on top of the face. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just go to the first frame, add this mask on, select the video. Then we are going to go to the tracker window and this is the window we are looking for. If you can't see that for any reason, then just go to window and make sure tracker is enabled. Then we are just going to select the mask. So the video will be selected and as you'll see, the tracker window looks like this. But if we then go to mask one, you'll see the tracker window changes and we can go to method and change this to face tracking detailed features. So ignore all of these. We're looking for that face tracking detailed features option. Then from there, we can press play. And as you will see, After Effects is gonna go frame by frame and track the face and it's gonna create a very detailed track of the face. So you can see there's three different points for my right eyebrow. There's three different points for my left eyebrow, three for my eyes, one for the top of my nose, three for the bottom of my nose, four for my mouth, and you can see the points around my face. So After Effects is getting a lot of data here. And the brilliant thing with After Effects here is it's going to create a whole set of keyframes per tracking points. So there'll be a whole row of tracking points for the one side of my mouth, a whole different set of tracking points for the other side of my mouth and for every other point here. So if we go into the video, we go to effects and we go into face track points. If we click that, you can see we've got left eye, right eye, nose, mouth. And like I was talking about, it's got a breakdown. So mouth, you've got mouth left, mouth top, mouth right, mouth bottom. There's a lot that you can do here. Now, if you wanted to, you could just scale this up and you could just position this and you could have yourself a really weird talking head. I don't know why you would need this effect, but you've got that technique now if you wanted it. Alternatively, if we reset everything back to normal and then we duplicate this layer, and then on the bottom layer, we'll delete those tracking points. So we'll delete the masks and we'll delete the effects. You can see we now have the face isolated on its own separate layer. So we could go in and do some very specific color correction. So we'll go into Lemetri, drag that onto the isolated face layer. We'll go into basic correction and you can see we can increase the tint. We can increase the temperature. And if we go into the mask, so we'll press M on the keyboard to load the mask, go into feather. You can see I've just given myself a very weird tan. But rather than wasting all of these tracking points, you can actually track things onto your face. So if we go into effects and presets and we go into the distort tab, we'll drop bulge onto the top video. And you can see we've got this point here. So we're just going to place the bulge center on the nose to begin with. And you can see it's giving us this funny nose. Now, where this gets really cool is if we go into that layer, so we go into the video, we'll go into effects, we'll go to face track points, we'll go to nose. Let's go for nose tip. So this is what we want to take the data from. We want to take these tracking points and put this on the bulge. So now if we go down to bulge, let's expand this so we can see what we're doing a bit more. If we go into bulge, you can see we've got bulge sensor. Now we're going to grab this spiral icon or this pip whip tool and drag that onto nose tip. So now when we play this back, you can see the bulge is going to follow this tracking point. So now we have this big nose. And if we increase the horizontal radius and the vertical radius, and we can increase the bulge height as well, you can see that's perfectly going to track that. So you can see I've just inflated my nose like this and it's perfectly tracked to the face. 
So that's one thing you can do with this effect. Now you could also do maybe a demon eyes effect with this so we can black out the eyes to create a really cool sinister look. And to do that, I would just go to layer, new, solid, make this a dark gray or a black, press OK. We're going to turn that off for now. Then we'll go to the pen tool and we're just going to draw a mask around the eye like this. Mine's not going to be the most perfect example. It's a little bit unclean. I'm just doing this to demonstrate. But then if we turn that on, we go into transform and go position. Now we can drag the position. So we'll select the spiral icon again, which is the parent and pick whip tool. Drag that on to one of the eyes. So you can see we've got right eye here. So let's go for pupil. We're going to drag the position on this to the right eye pupil. And as you can see, that has now disappeared. So if we zoom out, we can figure out what's going on. Where has this gone? You can see that has gone there. Now, the reason why it's done that is because the anchor point is now pinned to the eye. And the anchor point is essentially the point where this is going to animate from. So we can go into anchor point and we can move this until that appears back onto the eyeball. As you can see, that's now getting closer. We're going to have to zoom in to get really fine here. But there you go. You can see by adjusting the anchor point, we've now got that back. And if we play this back from the very beginning, you'll see that is now perfectly following the eye. Of course, with this technique, you can see it's just tracking the eye itself. It's not going to mask over the eyelid blinking. It's not going to do anything like that. You would have to go ahead and do extra work to do those steps. But it is perfectly tracking that black solid to the eye, which is your starting point for an effect like this. Alternatively, we could also put some animations onto the face and track them using the specific tracking points. Or alternatively, you can actually use this to create a bobble head effect. So if we just go to this top layer, we can increase the scale, move the position back down. And then if we go into M, we can remove the mask feather because it's giving us this blurred edge. Now you can see we can have this bobble head effect. Of course, though, I would definitely expand the mask upwards to include the hair. So even though the face tracking might sound a little bit silly to begin with, why would you want to isolate your face in After Effects? It's actually really powerful and it can be the starting point for many different effects inside of After Effects. So anything to do with the face, whether it's an eye replacement, it's adding graphics onto the skin, it's doing some color correction on the face specifically. There is a lot that you can do with the face tracker inside of Adobe After Effects. So hopefully this video was useful. Hopefully this is going to help you create some really awesome effects. And if you did enjoy watching this video, then please consider checking out one of my other videos by clicking this playlist just up here. So thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you on a future video. See you there.